there's one thing I have a lot of, it's fabric. So much fabric, so many different kinds of fabric. But a lot of my fabric are the little itsy bitsy pieces like this. Or maybe some of the pieces of upholstery fabric, you know, the kind you get for free. And I had so many threads, so much threads and fibers and little things that needed to be used up. So I decided maybe I should make a book. So here's my little Just Because book, and I'm calling it book one because I have a feeling as much fun as I had making this that I'm going to be making a lot more of these. And this started off as just three pieces of upholstery sample material, so they come in these rectangles, and I had cut the little bits of paper off and just kind of, you know, playing with them a little bit, and they look like a book. And I thought I was going to put one page inside the other, but it ended up unfolding differently. And so I just sort of let this book evolve as I was working on it. The upholstery material that I used for the cover really wanted to unravel, so I kept putting stitches in to try and hold it in place, and that's become one of my favorite things about this book, is the way I later went in. This looks like couching, but really what I did is I just wove embroidery floss underneath the stitches that I had put in to hold it, to keep it from unraveling. And then I stitched a little piece of material in here because I was afraid it was going to keep unraveling some more. And so if you've watched any of my videos or my lives, you know how much I love making little clusters. And this sort of felt like a nice home for my cluster type of things. I tried adding more beads, but that didn't really feel right for this particular book. Other books, maybe so. So it just sort of unfolds randomly really and isn't that what life is all about right life unfolds randomly every time i try to make plans they don't really unfold the way i think they will and all the fabrics in here are fabrics that either are natural materials, um, any of the dyed fabrics, I should say, not all the fabrics, but any of the dyed fabrics in here are fabrics that I've dyed myself in various ways. And this was just wonderful to be able to create without any rules whatsoever and just sort of follow whatever was in the mood I was in the mood to do that day you know and whoever gets this book could decide to add things to it if they wanted to I will leave that for the next person to do because I'm working on another just because book that I started in a class that I was taking with Beatrice Helton, who does so much of this instinctual stitching. So that's my little book. It measures three inches across and two and a half inches high, and it just fits in the palm of your hand, which made it perfect for this kind of stitching. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now. Now it's time to go back to work on the next one.